Thank you everyone for coming. Just a few words to say. It will be 11 weeks on Sunday since our daddy, Ian Ogle, was murdered by a gang of criminals. Today would have been his birthday. He would have been 46. Our family has mixed emotions. We're overwhelmed with shock and with great sadness at our loss. Yet we are also very proud of our daddy's courage and self-sacrifice and his determination in his life to do the right thing. Both for his family and for East Belfast, no matter what the personal cost. These are the attributes of a good man and a true Ulster loyalist. <laughs> Accepting the loss of our daddy's bodily presence with us is so, so difficult. But in the passage of time, we will have to come to terms with it. But what we will never accept are the attempts to discredit our daddy or our family by criminals who lie to deflect from the truth in an attempt to take the spotlight off their anti-loyalist behaviours. Our family is still being subjected to intimidation and threats from the very people that the UVF claim to have disowned. Our family was born and reared in East Belfast and we have never brought any harm to East Belfast. Yet those masking as defenders of our communities feel that they can threaten and intimidate decent people of working class East Belfast. Ran and I are equally determined as our daddy was to do what is right. Our family are being pulled only by the heartstrings that are attached to our daddy's heart, which will always pull us to do what is right. All we want is justice for our daddy and justice for East Belfast, our home. We do not want any other family to suffer the way we are suffering. Justice means our daddy's unremorseful murderers paying for what they did. What family in East Belfast or beyond wouldn't feel the same way that we do? But unlike many families that have understandably been overcome by threats and intimidation, our family will not be overcome by criminals. Our family have never looked for trouble, but trouble came to us. And our daddy, being the man that he was, stood for what was right and left his body in honour and glory. A man must be willing to die for justice. Death is an unescapable reality and meant ideally but good deeds live forever. Although in his body, our daddy has been heartlessly took away from us, his spirit remains with us and always will. He fought and gave his life for what was right. As his proud children, we can do nothing but the same. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. <laughs>